Hello everyone, this is a video I'm really excited about and I was actually planning to start it next week but I've been so excited that I was like, you know what, I'm starting it now. I wanted to film a video where I read an entire series in hopefully a week, if it takes longer than a week that's fine, but the goal is to finish this entire series in a week and I've just been really excited about this series ever since I heard about it. So basically I'm going to be reading the Boys of Tommen series. Book one is Binding 13, book two is Keeping 13 and book three is Saving six. So I'm about to have like a little slumber party reading stream on my Twitch and I'm going to start Binding 13 and I'm literally so excited. I really hope you love it. I posted on my story if you read the series do you think I'll love it? And it was very split so I'm not sure but like for some reason I just feel like I will and I hope I'm right. So basically this is like a college romance series. The books are really long, really small font and like 600 pages <laughs> but I'm just really in the mood for this kind of vibe like you know a really I'm assuming dramatic romance series and you know I do love a college setting and I love a sports romance and Johnny Cavanaugh is the romantic interest and he is a rugby player so very fun times hopefully <laughs> apparently it also deals with some dark topics obviously I hope it's done well I'm just really excited to hopefully be really invested in this series and not want to put the books down that's what I hope this video will be spoiler free this video will be spoiler free but I'll update you on my thoughts as I read friendship first love rising fame horrifying secrets and pain all feel together in binding 13. very fun oh god not a great start to be honest okay so i just did a silly little 30 minutes sprint on my stream so i read up till page 33 and the first page i was terrified actually because i was like oh great what's this it wasn't a great start the main character shannon like the main girlie she is described as the classic typical white female lead in a romance book where it's just like oh my god i'm way too skinny like i don't wear makeup like the other girls like i'm not as pretty as other girls like no one notices me like that kind of vibe and i was like oh great and i'm fine with it, a little bit of that silly little like you know cliche romance <laughs> vibes and so far the book definitely has that, but definitely not to that extent that it was in the first page. So thank God, because that was a bit much. But then also, she's like looking at herself in the mirror, this is still page one, and she's like, oh my God, my eyes are too big for my face. She's like, I try squinting to make them look more human. And then she's like, the squinting only made me look disabled and a little constipated. So I was shocked and disgusted by that line, obviously. What the hell is that? And then I looked up when this book was released, 2018. It's kind of a newer book, so yeah, really disgusting line. So I was like, oh great, is this book actually gonna be gross? Yeah, so then there was actually another moment where, so the main character, Shannon, is saying how she doesn't really like hook up with guys and stuff like that. She would get bullied, like she's been bullied her whole life. And some of the bullies would call her the tea slur that is used towards transgender people. And I don't believe this author is trans so i don't know if they should be using that word even if it's painted in a negative light like the use of that word i was also just like eh, what's that about what's that about so yeah i was a bit concerned but since then it's been okay and it's actually been kind of fun um i'm trying to just like not take it too seriously and just have fun with it and at the moment yeah it's fun like their little meet cute shannon and johnny was really cute once again don't worry about any spoilers but it was a fun moment and they have like the fun Irish slang going on because I don't know if I said yet but it is set in Ireland and I actually thought this was set in college like university vibes but they're like 16, 17 so I'm a little bit sad about that because I wanted them like I just prefer to read about older people but it's fine like it's it's a cute moment so I think college is like the last two years of high school in Ireland but yeah so she transferred to Tom and College which is like this private college so it's a very different vibe to what she's used to and yeah they really cute moments like there definitely were some moments where I was like oh and it's like really easy to read so I am invested and excited to continue reading and I just really hope no more disgusting lines come up and I can just have fun a silly fun time you know but yeah it's the next day and I'm reading some more and <laughs> like I'm trying to have fun and it is kind of fun but it's also really hard to take seriously because you know there are some darker topics being discussed and I feel like it is trying to be serious, but there are just moments that I'm just really rolling my eyes <laughs> at the moment. No spoilers, but Johnny and the other like rugby boys are in the locker room or whatever, and they're like getting all pissed. They're just being so dramatic. Someone's like, you're not my father. And then Johnny's like, I'm your daddy on the field, bitch. <laughs> like, it's just, it's, it's 
funny. It's funny. If it continues to be like this, I don't know if I'm going to be able to be invested in the characters, but we'll see. <laughs> he vomits. He's like, I was close to coming, my balls tied in the way they always did. The blood rushed to the head of my penis, but the muscles in my thighs and groin began to contract and spasm. The scorching pain that rocketed through my body was so severe. I screamed out in agony and vomited all over my bed sheets. <laughs> This is exactly why I don't want to be in the point of view of a boy sometimes. Ew. Once again, this isn't really spoilers, but he is obviously a rugby player and he has this like injury near his groin. And he's like, honestly, pages, pages of detail about the injury and how he's like, yeah, it's, <laughs> he's like, the skin was hot, itchy, swollen and disgusting to look at. And then spending yeah, a long time talking about it. And then he's like saying that he couldn't stop himself from like, having a wank fest. And then he's like, oh my god, I realised what a mistake I made, and then he was close to coming, and then he freaking vomits! <laughs> what is the point of this? I actually don't like this at all. Oh my god, he has to go to the hospital. <laughs> okay, so I'm on chapter 11. <laughs> the chapter titles are ridiculous. A fist to the face is preferable to a pie. And I think it's definitely going to be like a slow burn romance vibe, because... We had their meet cute, which was really cute. And then there were pages and pages without them talking again. And I was like, ugh. Because I was actually like, I had this slight feeling of like, should I do it? Because I was like, this is just a bit too stupid for me. But Caitlin is reading it as well. And she was like reading the meet cute. And she was like, oh, that's actually really cute. It reminded me that they did have that cute moment. And it is cute when they're together. So at the moment, the only thing is when they're together. And it's cute. But... Everything else is just like eye rolls, <laughs> like there's just so many ridiculous lines, lots of questionable things. Yeah, sometimes it's a bit too ridiculous, but like I said, I'm just trying to have fun with it. <laughs> but also Johnny, I don't know if I like him. He's kind of fun when he's with Shannon. He's really obsessed with Shannon and I, I love when a guy is obsessed with a girl, you know. But he is obviously really into rugby and he definitely has the attitude of like, I'm better than everyone else because I actually grind and I don't spend my free time partying. I don't spend my free time with friends. Like all I do is go to the gym, train, like eat well. Yeah, like while you're out partying, I'm grinding like that vibe and... <laughs> oh God. There are also some fun like side characters. So that's also good. This quote. Play and slay was my only option. Yeah, li literally, li listen to this. When they were chasing girls, I was chasing games. <laughs> oh yeah, and then there was this moment where he was like, I can't believe a girl's distracting me right now. A girl. A fucking female. What the hell's up? He's saying female way too often. No, I know. Yeah, definitely lots of weirdo vibes going on. But at the moment, I'm just reading for the fun moments between Shannon and Johnny. <laughs> And we did have another cute moment, so yeah, but <laughs> yeah, it's it's interesting. <laughs> I keep reading on hoping that there's not gonna be another disgusting line and then another one comes and it's disgusting. One of the characters, Gibsy, is talking to Johnny and he's like, You really hurt my feelings just now. And then Johnny's like, I hurt your feelings? Who's the bitch with the vagina now? Like, what? Ew, it's just disgusting. And I'm really getting the vibes that Johnny just hates women. <laughs> and Johnny only likes Shannon. Like, he even said this thing, like, she's not like the others. And he said this line where, like, girls are twisted and... What was that line again? Girls are dark and twisted or something. You're so, like, mean and cruel and, like, like Yeah, like, piss oh, off, baby. Yeah, it's very interesting. And, like, the reviews that I've seen on this series... I haven't seen anyone talk about the, these disgusting lines. Like, it's concerning. Like, just have your fun little silly little college romance without all the disgusting lines and, like, misogyny and transphobia and, like, ableism. Like, ew. Please. Oh, God. Also, it's very white people vibes. Like, I obviously knew that, like, going in. Like, what do you expect from this cover? But, yeah, it's, it's very much those vibes. Okay, so I'm on chapter 16 and I've come to the conclusion... Yeah, this book sucks. <laughs> I've been trying to give it chances and no, it's just not for me. It is ridiculous, disgusting at points. Obviously there have been some cute moments, 
but Caitlin has been looking through reviews and apparently it's like super slow burn, but not even in a fun way. Cause I actually love a slow burn romance, but I feel like for that to be successful and enjoyable, you need to be really in love with the characters individually. And I do not love these characters individually. I only like them when they're together, like they're cute little moments, but I couldn't care less about them separately. And I also need to be invested in like the side plots and stuff and I'm not invested. And at the moment it's more like, I feel the anger increasing. <laughs> like there was this line. I was pissed off actually, me reading this book. The weirdo lines are increasing. And is it worth it just for that 1% of the book with the cute scenes? I don't think so. I'm heavily contemplating DNFing it right now, but I think I might just read for a little bit longer just to see. I want to at least get to like maybe another scene between them and see the vibes, but <laughs> this is really proof that I need to do more research before picking up a book, especially a book this long. Because if you saw when I like hauled this book and stuff, I was really excited because I heard one person talk about it. I was just like, oh yeah, like let's give it a try. And like I bought the whole series. See, this is a, this is a lesson for me. Like don't do that. <laughs> Ew, what a weirdo. Ew, what even is that? Okay, so they're having a little fight. And this is also like their third encounter. You know, he tells her something and she's like, I won't tell anyone. And she's like, why would I tell anyone? Because he keeps thinking that she's going to tell someone. And then he's like, because I know what most girls are like. Piss off you woman hater. If they continue to fight. And then he's like, stop doing that. And she's like, doing what? And he says, twisting my words, not giving me a chance to explain. It's a dick girl move. What the hell? I know. What the hell? Oh my God. I actually hate this pseudo. No, it's actually concerning. It's concerning because... Like I said, Kate was looking at reviews and then I started to look at some reviews as well. Yeah, like most of them are like amazing, like, oh my god, this book is so good. A lot of people are like, Johnny's the dream guy, like, <laughs> you can find this guy off the streets. Like, he's so easy to find, a woman hating weirdo who has anger issues and like, <laughs> it's actually scary. I, this isn't enjoyable. 4.45 average rating out of 30,000 ratings. What the hell? Oh my god, he actually is scary. Ew, no, I actually hate this. I really hate this. Because also, before he said this thing where he was like, I'm not used to people saying no to me. Okay, weirdo. He's just some privileged weirdo who thinks he's better than everyone because he's always grinding or whatever. Like, cool. Okay, piss off. Now he's saying how much he loves dogs. I was a dog lover. I trusted them. Like, don't try to trick me into liking you because you love dogs. Oh my god, and he's like, dogs are so loyal and compassionate. I don't think humans were capable of such compassion and commitment. Well, clearly not you. I so this whole book is about his groin injury. Like, I'm sorry, but why do I want to read a book about that? No one wants to read it. So. Oh, and like, he just keeps talking about like, oh, I can't go for her. Like, she's so young. Like, all that stuff. Like, what's the point of that? Like, is it supposed to be kind of like a forbidden vibe? Like, ew. I'm on page 227. Shannon vomits. And then Johnny's like, I didn't care about puke. Everyone puked. Even girls. I can't do it anymore. <laughs> I cannot. This is just ridiculous. What makes it even more ridiculous is the fact that it was written in 2018, literally not that long ago. Like, how is the author getting away with this? <laughs> how is this so popular? It's actually scary. Yeah, so I'm just getting too annoyed. I can't continue. I cannot. And obviously we're not be finishing the series. So I definitely need to find some new homes. But I also don't want to subject anyone else to read this series. So yeah, I'm going to stop. One star. Goodbye. <laughs> Definitely not the outcome I hoped for. I was so excited, which I'm sure you can see at the beginning of this video. I just wanted a silly fun time. Such a disappointment. Yeah, I just want to reiterate also, there are a lot of heavy topics that are discussed in this book, like abuse. And I just want to say that me saying like, I don't care about these characters' lives doesn't mean like I don't care about those things because obviously those topics are important to be talked about. But it's just the execution of this book did not leave me invested. And just because a book is dealing with serious topics like abuse and bullying doesn't mean they're doing them in the right way. I do find it really disheartening when I'm talking about my critiques in a book that involve topics, like serious topics like that. And people say that I'm not allowed to like critique the book because it has those topics within them. But anyway, yeah, I would not recommend this book. <laughs> this was not it. This was not it. So if you have any other fun, like actual college, like university set sports romance books, please let me know. You should read, um, it was called Playing Hard to Get. I loved it. Oh, really? What sport is that? I think he was a football player, but it's like 
makes it to the end of his like to his final year of university without taking the specific like English paper he has to take for his degree. Oh yeah. He knows he's not gonna be good at it. And so she is tutor. tutor. Yeah. That's a fun and one. Also there's no stupid third act conflict. Oh stunning. Okay, yeah, yeah. And also I just wanna say that I do love romance books that deal with other topics, not just the romance. For example, I love like all the books by Tully Hibbert, like Get a Life Chloe Brown, Take in Danny Brown, Actor Age Eve Brown, Get a Life Chloe Brown, the main character deals with chronic illness, fibromyalgia to be specific. And that was really well done, amazing, loved every part of that book. Seven Days in June, which I read recently, could be my new favourite romance. Absolutely love it, and it deals with a lot of important topics as well, like racism, chronic illness once again, addiction, yeah, and some family trauma. And oh, that book is incredible. So I need to get back to my stunning romance books. Not this weirdo. <laughs> so this video didn't go as planned, but you never know what to expect, you know. Expect the unexpected. And also maybe do more research before you pick up a 600 page book and find reviews from lots of different people. <laughs> but anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope this is somewhat enjoyable, even though, especially near the end, it's just me being angry. <laughs> but yeah, thank you for watching. All my socials and everything always linked below. Oh my god, Kayla, it's you guys, you're in the corner! Am I? Yeah! <laughs> Doing away. I'm playing my silly little iPad games. <laughs> Bye! Thank you for watching. Bye.